This is Andy Jungles with Mox News, online dating and sitting universities across the country. DateMySchool.com promises users a discreet dating experience and a guarantee that your date is a current student or alumni of your university. of DateMySchool.com began the website to meet the needs of students too busy and too focused on schoolwork to spend the time it often requires to find a date. Jean Meyer, a business student at Columbia University and founder of DateMySchool.com, argues that students today are the most technologically savvy, yet the most emotionally disconnected. Students at UTC have varying opinions about online dating. I think online dating sites can be beneficial for some people, and I think Sometimes they don't really go that well. I personally would not do an online dating site. <laughs> online dating sites are, I mean, they're a good thing, but it's not, I don't think it's for me. So, but I, I agree with them. Honestly, I wouldn't do it. It's great for people that do, but they really ought to be careful because you can never tell if someone's faking something. Um, I'd rather not do online dating. I'm not a big fan of it. I'd rather meet somebody in person and get to know them that way than over the computer. I don't know if I would personally do it, but I think it'd be good for people who are more shy and have trouble meeting people sometimes. I think it's better to get out there and actually meet people instead of, um, I know like with Twitter and like stuff like that, you meet new people, but I think it's better to go out and meet people just like on campus rather than using the internet. According to a 2012 study by Reuters, 40 million Americans have tried online dating. It is a $1 billion a year industry. The bonus of online dating is users can specify their desire in a future mate. Besides photos, users can pick dates based on everything from education level to whether or not they like pets. It has been a great week so far. Temperatures hit 70 degrees Monday, but then we saw a cold front come through the area, bringing temperatures down just a little bit. As we go into today's forecast, we're looking at rain chances throughout the area with a high of 48 degrees. Friday, the, re the rain actually remains in the area with a high of 62 degrees. The lows will be in the lower 40s. Get ready for a nice weekend, though, as temperatures will be on the warm side again. For your Saturday and Sunday, we're looking at partly cloudy skies with various peaks of sunshine. Temperatures will be around 70 degrees for both days with lows still on the cool side at night. Monday's forecast calls for temperatures to remain in the 70s for your high and then for some of the areas we could see up to 75 degrees so enjoy that day. This is your Mox Eye forecast for this week. A lot of us have been wondering where spring temperatures have went but it seems like old man winter may be out of the picture now. Always remember to hop aboard that train and be a mock. This is your boy Ron and Joy back with the hot dish just recapping the what happened today on our show. Well today is the last segment or the last broadcast of the hot dish. So for me and Jordan, I just want to say y'all have a good summer. And until next summer for next fall, um, we'll be on break. <laughs> I mean I, I can't explain it any other way. But we had a lot of interesting topics. You know we had to talk about the NCAA Final Four. And I'll start off talking about Kevin Ware. Kevin Ware had a freak accident where he contested a three-point shot and then on his leg wrong. And he snapped it into. He was still intact, but he snapped it into. And the ball was six inches out of his out of his leg. Uh, they stopped the game instantly, but Kevin Ware still said, teammates, don't worry about me, I'm fine win the game. And that just shows you what type of player Kevin Ware was. Uh, so, I would like to say, man, Kevin, I hope you get better. Um, from the perks, from me and Jordan. I don't know, Jordan. You know <laughs> yeah, man, get better. So, that's all I got to say about Kevin Ware. Jordan, what else are we talking about today? Uh, the Defense of Gay Marriage Act. Um, dealing with the Supreme Court and, uh, you know, the right to have same-sex marriages and to, to get the benefits that a heterosexual marriage gets and uh, you know we just talked about that and you know I think it's important that we remember that this is a civil rights issue this is not a religious question this is not a um, ethical I mean I guess it's an ethical dilemma for a lot of people actually but it is, um, it is a civil rights issue so regardless of how you feel about gays and instead of so forth it shouldn't really play a part in whether or not you get basic rights I think. I mean, at the same time, I would say that let's take it, take it from a religious aspect and let's start 
start thinking about more aspects. The more aspect, they, they do need uh, benefits if they decide to get married and have a same-sex marriage. Even though that if, if they go to a banned state or, or a state that bans gay or same-sex marriage, they still need the opportunity to at least have it in some form, shape, or fashion. Got this big chant. Ooga booga chattanooga. Kick up in the butt, big shoe. Woo woo. That is a great chant. Uh, and with the chant, we're bringing back the big shoe. Now, one more second, one second. This is the big shoe. You can't see it. <laughs> it's this big shoe with moccasins on it. It's our logo. It's just an old picture from 1980. And it's been here, well, it's been a mascot since 1980. And we're bringing it back. We're taking away Scrappy and replacing it with the big shoe. I, Jordan, I don't know what to say. Uh, it's kind of depressing for me because I like Scrappy. Just replacing it with this. This is terrible, man. You know, if you want to know what I think about this, this guy will never be Scrappy. Nah, hey, this, this, this guy, I know he's going to help bring back some alumni. This dude, this, this, this is a bad idea. You can see, I'm supporting the Mox all the way next year, but this I will not like when I'm in the game. Well, I guess this, this is, I guess this is equivalent to trash. <laughs> it hags me and Jordan, but you know, that's just our opinion. <laughs> but that's all we had for today, man. It was our last broadcast for this semester. Uh, like I said, it's been great. Uh, we'll be on break. I hope y'all have a uh, great summer break, and also, Finish finals. Finals coming up. Crack down, guys and young young ladies. Let's get these grades. So you know how we gotta hit it, right? Go, Mox! Y'all should be used to it.